Good evening. My name is Arliss Johnson. I'm the CEO of Bluegrass Robotics. And I'm here tonight to talk to you about the Tactical Extreme Adaptive Mobility Unmanned Ground Vehicle Platform, or Team UGV. So the problem that we all face is rollover. And the technology that we're working on solves that. So my inspiration came in around 2006 upon hearing all the up-armored Humvees rolling over in Iraq. And who hasn't heard of a child being hurt or killed in an ATV rollover? Well, it really hit home in October of last year when my wife's uncle was almost killed. So I said, I have to do something with this. Thought of it 10 years ago, gotta do something. So we're gonna start with the military UGVs. Last year, the military tested numerous unmanned ground vehicles at their Fort Bliss Evaluation Center. But the one good thing for us they all have in common, they all rolled over. <laughs> so that vehicle falls in this self-transportable category. And the vehicle you saw is the Soldier Follower, or the SMIT. It stands for Squad Multipurpose Equipment Transport Vehicle. The platform we're developing would be able to be used for that vehicle, as well as the two other vehicles, the Recon Security and the Robotic Wingman. That's going to be part of our revenue stream, is developing a few of these vehicles, put into the hands of the military, let them field test them, get their feedback, then that will be, if we get uh, contracts from them, that will give us a valuation of the technology, and that will also mitigate the risk for future licensees. So let's look at our competition. These vehicles are currently being used by the military. The Lockheed Martin SMSS is currently deployed to Afghanistan. Costs around $200,000. The key amongst all these vehicles, they all roll over once they get to 30 degrees. The solution is our Team UGV platform. Our milestones will explain why. So we were founded in November. In December, the concept was reduced to practice. And just last month, the prototype maintained a vertical payload on a 45 degree slope, and that same prototype encountered extreme terrain and also uh, maintain the vertical payload. So if you imagine a obstacle in front of your front left and your right rear tire, you try to go over that, you picture teeter-tottering. But this vehicle maintains four points of contact continuously with the ground and a vertical payload. Now, I can't get into the specifics of why, but we are in the process of uh, filing a provisional patent. And remember the mud and it's 30 degrees, where our competition rolls over, we keep rolling. So another aspect is IP licensing. We're focusing on the self-transportable, but we can also sub-license it to the other two on the left. Kinetic, Northrop Grumman, and iRobot maintain a 50% greater market share in the global and main ground vehicle market. And Oshkosh <coughs> pretty much has a foothold in the robotic applique market. So future IP licensing <coughs> can be military manned vehicles, ATVs, and so on and so forth that you see here. The two others that are not mentioned are caterpillar type vehicles as well as tractor trailers. Now the client discovery and connections we've made, uh, I've spoken with Tardec and they're working with us to create a phase one cyber for, uh, based around their technology. Them and DARPA themselves suggested we go after the DARPA BAA 1631. And I've been in contact with SpaceX and Kinetic. I'm waiting to hear back from them about their interest. And we're currently working to schedule a meeting with Cellcom to get their feedback, as well as present the vehicle to them to show its abilities. Thank you.